All right, so one. It's the brothers from the DMS of Colin Cat back for another video. Before we go any further, with all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. By Hashem. By Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Akarkwadash. By Hashem Akarkwadash. The honor to the apostles and elders of the great mercy of teaching us to warm sin truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessings to those elect of the nation of Israel. Take through spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, me and the brother, um, I'm the brother Isaiah. Shamar. You know, we're going to get into a lesson on, you know, Israel being that chosen nation, you know. Are uh, you going to bring the first priest about? This is 2nd Andrews chapter 5, verse 22. I mean, 27. <clears throat> and among all the multitude of people, thou hast gotten thee one people. Yeah, so out of all the 18 nations on the planet Earth, you know, popular or contrary belief, the Lord is only dealing with one people. He just said it right there. Read one more time, bro. This is 2nd Andrew chapter 5, verse 27. And among all the multitude of people, thou hast gotten thee one people. Now, of all the multitude of people on the earth, you know, all these other nations, Yahweh by Shema Shai has gotten the one people. Go ahead, let's see who that one people is. And unto this people whom thou hast lovest, I mean, whom thou lovest, mm -hmm. thou gavest a law that is approved of all. Now, let's prove who Yahweh by Shema Shai gave the laws to. You know, this one nation on the earth was given the laws, and this is the nation that the Lord loves, you know, and that he chose above all these other nations on the earth. You can get, um, you can get Deuteronomy 4 and 5, and, um, you can get Leviticus 26 and 46. You said Leviticus 26 and 46? Yeah. Which one you want first? Uh, you can give me, uh, like, uh, can you get around me first? Alright. You said five and... Uh, chapter four and five. Oh, my bad. Okay. Chapter four, verse five. <clears throat> this is Deuteronomy chapter four, verse five. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Yeah, behold, the Lord hath taught us statues and judgments, you know, that's that's the law. You see? Go ahead. Even as Yahweh, my power commanded me. Yeah, so Moses, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, Moses gave the children of Israel the laws, you know, which we're going to prove on. Go ahead, bro. That you should do so in the slacky, that you should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Go ahead. Keep therefore and do them, mm -hmm. for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Yeah, so the Lord, he gave us a law that was approved of all, you know, which was these commandments. You know, it says, these commandments is our wisdom and our understanding in the sight of the nations. That's that law that was approved of all. Go ahead, bro. We shall hear all these slacky. We shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Go ahead, bro. For what nation is there so great mm -hmm. who, who have the most high so nigh unto them? Go ahead. As the great, I mean, as the, I mean, as Yahweh. Our power is in all things that we call upon him for. Go ahead. For what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law, which I set before you this day? Yeah, what nation is this talking about, you know? We just read in Second Ezra that there was a... That this one nation whom the Lord chose of all nations has a law that is approved of all. You see? And we just the the Lord is the Lord's asking you, what nation is this? 
you know? Um, before you get Leviticus, can you get, uh, uh, 2 Samuels? We're gonna hold that Leviticus. Can you get 2 Samuels, uh, 7? And I believe it's 22, 23. It's, it says, what nation? It's the, the scriptures tell you what nation. Yeah, 23. Come on, come on. Go ahead, bro. This is 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 23. And what one nation in the earth is like un, is like thy people, even like Israel, so, whom the I'm sorry. Go ahead, bro. Keep reading. It says, uh... See, you start from the top. It says, uh, this is uh, 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 23. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, mm -hmm. even like Israel, whom the Most High went to redeem for a people to himself, mm -hmm. and, and to make him a name, and to do for you great things and terrible for thy for thy land before thy people which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt from the nations and their gods. Yeah, and how did the Lord redeem us from these uh these nations and their gods by teaching us his ways, you know, and by delivering us out of the hand of Pharaoh, you know, and under that captivity. You know, it just said what one nation, the nations, the children of Israel. It's obvious. Everyone knows who the Lord's people are, and nothing has changed, you know. People think just because it's 2020, the Lord has cast away his people. But no, nah, that's that's not, that's far from it. That's not the truth. And the Lord, you know, redeemed us by giving us those commandments, by showing us the true way to live down here on this earth. You know, a righteous way of living, you see. Uh, keep reading, bro. It says, verse 24, For thou hast confirmed to thyself thy people Israel to be a people unto thee forever. You see? And, and the Yahweh by Shema Rashad is confirmed to himself. So it don't matter what these other Christians are saying, these so-called Christians, because the Jews were first called uh, uh, Christians in Antioch. You see, the followers of the anointed, the Amashiach, so that we, we're the real Christians, you know? You so-called Christians are losing the fight. You know, you're losing this battle. You, you're you not the chosen house of the Lord. The nation of Israel is, starting with the elect. Because within the chosen, there is a, within the chosen, there is a chosen, you see? Read that verse from the top again, bro. Second Samuel chapter seven verse twenty four, for thou hast confirmed to thy, to me, slacky, for thou hast confirmed to thyself, thy people Israel to be a people unto thee forever, mm -hmm. and thou, Yahweh, art become their power. See, the Lord are become their power. You know. Now it may not appear that we are the chosen people. Why? Because we're at the bottom. You know. We're suffering because of our sins that we have committed, but that doesn't mean anything, you know? We're chosen, we're, we're above you other nations, you know, physically, but in rank, we will be above you in the kingdom, you see? Get that Leviticus 26, and then get Exodus 19.5. Are you holding anything? Yeah, I got you. Okay, kind of, kind of. Let me know if you get a piece up. Um... Yeah, you can read that Leviticus so we can, so you can drop that, and then we'll get the Exodus uh, 19 and 5. Alright, this is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 46. These are thy statutes and judgments and laws which Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. So, this one people whom the Lord loveth the laws were given to the children of Israel, you know, and th there it is, you know, it don't get much plainer than this, 
it doesn't get more plainer than that, you know? Alright, go ahead and read Exodus 19 and 5. This is Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. <clears throat> now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Yeah, so we didn't obey the voice of the Lord. So now in rank, you know, we have become, you know, the bottom, you know, the lowest of the lowest we fell under the curses. But we're still the chosen. And now in the kingdom, when the law sex commandments are put in our inward parts, now in rank, we are going to be above all these other nations. You see? Uh, get... Psalms 135 and 4. We're not going to make this too much long because the point's been made. You know, the Lord chose the nation of Israel to be his people forever. You know, before you get that Psalms, can you get uh, Romans 11 and, uh, uh, Romans 11 and 1? Alright, this is Romans chapter 11 verse 1. It says, I say then, have the Most High cast away his people? The Most High forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, and I mean, of the tribe of Benjamin. See? Hey, look, Paul's saying, God forbid, meaning no. Hey, Yahweh by Shema Hashanah said he's made the children of Israel his people forever. So he's not going to cast away his people. You know? Keep reading, bro. It says, verse 2. The Most High have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Mm -hmm. Won't ye not what the, the scripture saith to Elias, how ye make intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, The Lord, let me slack it, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars, and I am, I mean, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. Go ahead, bro. But what saith, but what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved myself seven thousand men who have just like it, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. You see, so the Lord, you know, within the chosen, because right now, you know, majority of our people, they're not acting in a godly manner. You know, it looked as if the Lord had forsaken them. They're at the bottom. They're being coons and spicks and niggas. You know. They're just, they're not acting as if, you know, the Lord chose them to do anything. They're not following the commandments, you know. So it would seem that the Lord, you know, have, have cast away his people. But what the scriptures say, if, you know, uh, uh, at least the Lord have left a very small remnant. We have, we would have been like unto Sodom and Gomorrah. We would have been completely wiped away. But the Lord has kept in that righteous branch, you know, the elect. Which is going to be saved on this side. And which is going to restart. You know the nation and the kingdom. You know it's going to be. They're going to be the first fruits. You know of, of, of the nation. of Which they, they are the first fruits of the nation of Israel. Which is going to bring back the rest of the nation. You see. And we're going to be that chosen. We're going to receive the kingdom. You know and everybody else is going in captivity. For a thousand years Esau is going to be. Eliminated off the face of the earth. You know. Hey, and these other nations are going to go back get their land, you know, but they're still going to be tribute under the nation of Israel, the Lord's chosen people. Get Isaiah 34 and 1, and then we'll, we'll close out in that Psalms, 30, uh, 135 and 4. So Isaiah what again? Uh, chapter uh, 44, verse 1. All right. If I'm not mistaken. It's Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. <clears throat> Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Mm-hmm. So the chosen is Israel, you see? 
yet not here Jacob you know uh, my servant in Israel who I have chosen you know so Israel is the chosen you know it's that simple Jacob Israel Jacob's name was changed to Israel after he wrestled the angel you know same lineage you know there's enough scriptures on it we're gonna close out on that Psalms 135 the scriptures they only talk about Israel the Bible is to Israel from Israel for Israel you see Go ahead, bro. You said 135 and what? Uh, verse 4. Uh, it's Psalms chapter 135, verse 4. For the for Yahweh have made, I mean, it's like, for Yahweh have chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. Yeah. And if you look up this word, chosen, it's the past tense of choose. Having been selected as the best or most, uh, it says, having been selected as the best, you see? So, the nation of Israel, they have been selected as the best nation on the earth, you know? And what what makes us that chosen nation, the law, statute, commandments, why, what should I say, what makes us above these other nations and separates us, makes us holy, is us having the commandments of the Lord, you see? Can you read the, the scripture we opened out with? Um, the second Ezra 5 and 27. Can you read that? We'll close out on that. Uh, the second Ezra chapter 5 verse 27. And among all the multitudes of people, thou hast gotten thee one people. And unto, and unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. That's right, you know, and we just proved the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shah that's talking about the nation of Israel. You see? It's very simple. You, uh, you wanna you got uh any closing statements, bro? No. Alright, cool. Hey you, you can go ahead and close this out. Alright, Lord's will, this was a edifying lesson. Before we go any further, we want to give all praise, all honor and all glory to our Heavenly Father and his only begotten son, Yahweh. Yeah, how Bye, Hashem. Bye, Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bye, Hashem Akakwadash. Bye, Hashem Akakwadash. Next double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. It's all us 100% true for the King James Bible, along with the Apocrypha. And double shalom to the brothers that go out on the highways and do these video lessons to feed the hopeful elect. Until next time, we say shalom. Shalom.